Earlier today, Tyrese Gibson uploaded an image onto his Instagram account stating that he may be arrested in Atlanta tomorrow morning. I'll read what he wrote. At 9 a.m. in the morning in Atlanta, I might be arrested in court. Samantha's lawyer, Adam and William, who are besties with the judge, Kevin. Here is a small summary and I promise not to talk your head off. Samantha Lee is Tyrese's ex-wife and they have a daughter together. They married in 2017. They welcomed their daughter in 2018 and by December of 2020, they were announcing their separation. According to Tyrese, she left him out of the blue. Samantha later admitted that she had divorced Tyrese out of emotion, that she had the wrong people in her ear, and that she regrets her decision. Tyrese responded, Congratulations. You went viral again over something else you said because you are trying to build up your YouTube page to get your followers up. You packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the ring cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family. You're heartless. This is all about money. Fast forward, according to Tyrese, his pre nuptial agreement was illegally cracked so let's continue collusion all of these names are very public knowledge because they are all very public judges and lawyers demanded that i come to court and cancel my press and media for my 1992 movie and my new beautiful pain album interviews and demanded that i come to court we are appealing all of his rulings and already have tried to get this judge thrown off the bench twice the second time we tried to get him recused from the bench he actually denied his own request to be thrown off the bench imagine that he illegally tried to bring a $10,000 child support payment from Cali that I'm giving my 17 year old currently to Atlanta for my 5 year old. They have illegally cracked my prenuptial agreement. I without a court order started giving my ex $3,600 a month in child support for a 1 year old at the time on my own prior to going to court to do a divorce trial. And after 2 years of $3,600 a month Judge Kevin decided to go back 2 years and turn my $3,600 into $10,690. That's called a retroactive child support payment aka he went backwards just because he felt like it. we are currently appealing all of his rulings so tomorrow morning i'm sure he's going to want to make an example out of me. press media please file your rule 22 media press access set up your cameras and let's see what judge farmer has in mind for me today praying for my lawyer tanya who has been robbed and violated from the beginning from her just to process as a black woman who owns her own law firm she has said it over and over she has never experienced anything like this in her life it is pretty clear that they hate my guts but i must remind them and everything about my life in my success i broke my off since i was 14 years old to get here family law courts are the worst towards fathers i think i'm gonna go eat me some red lobster <laughs> i ain't never been arrested never went to jail in my life never Why? Because I don't do anything illegal. I want to send this message out to all of the fathers. This is not man versus woman. Make sure I say that. Take all that off the table. What I love right now is that from all of the interviews that I've been doing, all of the women who are probably always going to see things through the lens of a woman feminist women's group you know it's like i don't care if the woman is wrong i don't care what she doing what she asking for what she trying to get in alimony trying to crack the prenup trying to get this for child support i don't give a f how wrong she is most women are always going to see things through the lens of women so I feel like we're in a real place right now where I could not be more proud of the women that have been vocal and outspoken about all of this goofy shit that my ex is doing and still doing. As a matter of fact, both of my ex. I know y'all are quick to say playing victim, gaslighting, manipulation, narcissist. They gonna put all kind of shit on you to make sure that whatever they decide to believe about you is what they want to believe because what? I was born a man, I got it. No one's after me. There's no Crips and Bloods after me. There's nobody in corporate America after me. There's nobody at none of these movie studios after me. There's none of these record labels after me. I got baby mama drama. You get in a relationship, 
with an entertainer who happens to be a public figure or somebody who's a real estate tycoon or somebody in the tech space or somebody who has an actual profitable business. Now, this is what's crazy. Since I've been so public about all that I've been dealing with, you would not, I have lost count of how many women who have walked up to me who are the high net worth individuals, the ones with all the money and the success, talking about how their ex-husband is getting alimony and how the husband is getting child support payments and the husband is getting all that he's doing freeloading. The husband got the house. Doesn't really happen that often, but <laughs> when you were born a man, you go into a courtroom and you understand clearly that there is a preset menu that says you were born a man. Fuck you. That's what the preset menu says. Now, y'all, I've been laughing, smiling, having fun, doing my interviews, my vibrations, and my energy has been up. And I've been over here silently and quietly in a certain capacity fighting these attacks. Why does Samantha's lawyers just request all of my bank statements? Why are they sending screenshots of my IMDB page, which stands for Internet Movie Database? They're looking up all the movies that I just did and asking for money and money and what's in this account and how much money did you make for Voltron Travel and how many albums have you sold and this and that. Like, leave me the fuck alone, man. I did a prenuptial agreement for a reason. The prenuptial agreement spells out everything that she get and was supposed to get. Why are we now four years and three law firms into this woman still coming after me? And why have they, the lawyers representing her, knowing that she's with a celebrity, a public figure, a high net worth individual, why have they confirmed on record that they've only got $5,000 from her and they've been representing her for four years. Why is this so? I'll tell you why. Because lawyers, not all, but certain lawyers out here will look at a celebrity and a high net worth individual as a pot of gold. And they will milk the sh out of you. And she's sitting over there letting them do it. Do you know how many people have went through a divorce and never went to court? You know how many people got issues with their baby mama, baby daddy, and never went to court? And they're just being amicable and respectful. You cheated. You lied. You hurt me. You this, you that. You moved on. You got remarried again. You this, you that. But I'm not about to take you to court. I'm not doing, I'm not doing that to the father of my child. I'm not this and I'm not that. But the moment that you put a little celebrity sizzle on that thing, the moment that that net worth is a little different. All kind of intentions come out. Now, let me make sure I say this because it's like take care of them kids. Look, I've never not taken care of my kids. Let me say it again. I've never not taken care of my kids. As a matter of fact, as much as I travel, as much as I got going on, as much as I'm moving, I'm going to tell you all the biggest blessing ever. Thank you, Jesus. My 17-year-old Shayla has never called me Tyrese. My five-year-old has never called me Tyrese. You know who I am in this house? dad and when they refer to me when they not with me they said that's my father i am dad and you know why why i'm dad not because of what i bought them not because of the clothes not because of the square footage of the house not because of the cars in the driveway and definitely not because of this fake jewelry i wear i'm a father because that exchange between your son or your daughter is nothing that could be purchased. It's something that they feel about you 